Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 4th of March 1789, the United States Constitution went into effect when the first US Congress came together to meet for the first time. However, the Congress was unable to actually vote on anything until the first week of April because it didn't have the necessary number of members to be court. The Congress met in New York City, but the 18th century's slow forms of transport meant that many of the members didn't arrive on time for the opening session. The gruelling journey on horseback, or by stagecoach or sailing ship, meant that the House of Representatives didn't reach quorum until the 1st of April, while the Senate was delayed until the 6th. It was only then, after the Houses met in a joint session to count the Electoral College votes, that they were able to certify that George Washington had been elected president, with John Adams as the vice president. In line with the Constitution, Adams became president of the Senate, while Frederick Muhlenberg of Pennsylvania was elected Speaker of the House. He was later to become the first to sign the Bill of Rights, which in turn became the first ten amendments to the Constitution. Representative James Madison had presented the bill on the 8th of June, and after three months of discussion, twelve articles were approved by Congress on the 25th of September. Ten of these, Articles 3 to 12, were ratified two years later and became the Bill of Rights on the 15th of December, 1791. March the 4th, meanwhile, continued to be a significant date for Congress, until the 20th Amendment to the Constitution was ratified in 1933, which set the date of the 3rd of January as the first day for Congresses to meet. Thank you.